Welcome to another Motortown video. Today I'm here to tell you guys about the new update that just dropped on the beta branch. So this is now publicly available. It's the preview of the 0.7.5 version. So something that I've been waiting uh, for for quite a while. Been two months uh, pretty much uh, since the last one uh, dropped on the beta branch. So quite a while but it's been worth uh, the time waiting because this update is absolutely massive. To start out with, we are in one of the new dealerships here. So this is basically um, um, the devs trying to move a few things away from the heavy duty dealership over here. So this now only has all the buses and of course the, um, uh, the tuning shop for the heavy duty stuff. But everything else has been moved out of here and we can now find it in different other places around the map. This one that I'm at right now is to the very um, west end of the map. Goes in truck dealership and it hosts all of the semi trucks right now. All of the Kira variants and also the Brutus uh, tanker as well as the other Cuda variants. And the um, slightly heavier medium duty vehicles. So that's where we can find all of those right now. The one thing that I'm kind of missing from this one would be an upgrade shop. We have, the, um, we have the building for that, but there are no um, spots to really park your vehicle and upgrade it. So that's a bit weird. I hope it's gonna come sooner or later. But yeah, as it is right now, it's a bit more spacious for the stuff here and it's Kinda nice just having a few things in different places around the map instead of everything just in uh, one corner. When it comes to uh, tow trucking, all of those vehicles can be found at the, um, the Dongbok Wrecker Shop. So this is where we can find the um, Pulio, which is also still at other dealerships like this one I'm pretty sure. There's also another Kira um, so, uh, oh no, Kira Rollback uh, truck parked over here, and also the two Brutus variants. I think that might be the only place where we can now get the Brutus Wrecker, but yeah, there's also a few other vehicles. Uh, we might as well um, go over there real quick, although I'll, I'll do that in a moment. First up, there's another thing nearby that I want to show, and that's the new plastics uh, com company and... Um, Yeah, the new facility there. Gotta say though when it comes to um, the new update uh, timing wise, well I've been waiting for this for a long time and it's looking pretty amazing right now. Um, personally for me it could have likely not come at a worse date. Some stuff happened in my family recently, I don't want to make a whole topic out of this but yeah when it comes to me um, doing stuff with this game in the next few days or possibly even weeks I have sadly no idea what I can do um, how it's gonna work out so while I wanted to make a video showcasing the stuff here um, everything past that really um, playing on this update and experiencing all the stuff firsthand that might be a bit delayed sadly Anyways, I don't want to make this a sad video, so I'm not gonna um, go any further into detail. Uh, one thing you will notice already is that the signs that we, that we could already find around Oldly with the last update have also been added to a lot of intersections on this uh, island and yeah, just overall really improving the looks here. So the new plastics factory is what we can find right here. And to be clear, I haven't done any real testing here. I just drove over to the different places to have a quick look. Uh, but this is also where we can get um, some of the deliveries and also apparently um, deliver the plastic too. Also, there's a new contract system. I have no idea how these are going to work. Uh, I think I need... Um, I mean, I am in my own company now, but I don't really know how that's gonna work out. The entire system has been kind of reworked. There's still, of course, the AI buses. But 
but now we can also invite players into the company and have them do jobs around the map. I don't know how that's gonna um, end up playing out. It's an interesting idea, but we'll have to see about the details. Like uh, pay cutting and all of that. Apparently when you do this kind of stuff, you can uh, also, let's see, uh, I don't know where exactly it is. There is a way to assign vehicles to this company. I don't know if you would have to take out uh, buses or something. But it's kind of, well, something that I might have to um, experience in multiplayer at some later date and maybe I'll take you guys along for the ride. Maybe I'll just try it out for myself first and see how it goes and then once I have a better idea of it, uh, then get you for a, in for a session and see how that's all gonna go. I don't know yet. Anyways, um, so much about the Plastic Factory here, let's um, go over to Oldly now. First up we have the new area of Megium, which is a logging area. So there's a lot of different um, logging places here and there's um, two distinctive um, different loads for logs. There's the short logs now and also the big oak uh, logs, which I think are going to be pretty much what we had beforehand. Might be slightly different, but I have no idea yet. Also, there are two new um, vehicles to do the logging with. One is a rigid truck, which uh, seems to be more suitable for the um, shorter and smaller logs. And the other one is just a new trailer, which is looking quite a bit nicer. We are going to take a look at that in a moment. Um, the um, truck itself can only be bought over here. The new trailer can be bought at uh, Tosin Trailers, as they would expect. And there's also a new um, sawmill right here, or lumber mill. So if you want to deliver stuff um, down in this region, I think the, um, uh, the drilling area takes planks. This would be a shorter way to do this, and I guess you can also take stuff from over here up to the old, um, uh, the old lumber mill. So that's how all of that is going to work out, but let's now go over and have a trip down there. Gonna still be quite a bit of a journey because I currently only have um, one uh, campy and I had to place it down at a different area to show you guys something else a bit later down the line. So we're just gonna have to drive over there. I think in the future I should maybe buy one or two more campies for this kind of thing to make that work out a bit better. But for the time being, this is what I have here. I have enough money, but I don't really know what to spend it on right now. Also, one thing that I can mention real quick about the game, it's been recommended that you um, go and back up your save file. So that's in the app data, I think, local motor town uh, folder and then just copy out the saves folder in there and you should be good to go. Just in case something breaks, you can restore it. And yeah, something else will change about um, the companies is now that we just get a lot more notifications about um, us making money and uh, paying the upkeep for the different buses. But I like that the system is now a bit more transparent. It's also kind of annoying just how many more notifications we get, especially with uh, uh, money making sound there. So maybe there should be a, an option later down the line to tune that down. A thing. Also for the sake of this video, I don't know how deep I want to go into that new area. It's pretty cool, it has some really interesting uh, dirt roads, but yeah, it's also kinda hard to handle and um, there's a lot of stuff to show today. But 
Yeah, we are about to get there and I'm so happy that I bought the... Um, oh God. I read one property recently so I can drive over here a bit quicker. It's still a bit of a journey but it's not all that bad. And once again we can see a few of the new signs right here. They have just been put all over the place which is definitely uh, quite the improvement. And yeah just the new foliage and everything it just looks so much more um, alive right now. We also have a little lake here that we need to drive around. Which is quite the nice sight as well. And therefore the entranceway is still uh, paved holes, but soon enough it's gonna switch over to dirt. And there's also quite a few um, rocks on the dirt holes, so you really have to be careful about it. But we're gonna see that in a moment. Here we are and here we can also see both the new uh, trailer and the new uh, truck. So this is the Eastwood trailer. Ah, as it says here, only two um, axes in the rear in, instead of the usual three that a lot of the other trailers have. I don't mind it, I kind of like the um, two extra trailers a bit more anyways. And yeah, this is definitely quite a bit larger than uh, what the truck here allows us to carry. But it also apparently comes with a um, kind of interesting trailer hitch here. Oh no, that was the, um, the wheels uh, lighting up. And it can also be bought over here for 80k. So let's uh, check out what um, this one has to offer. Medium duty, 190 horsepower engine, so that's kind of weak. Cargo space, uh, lock 3.9 meters times uh, 2.1. Well, this one is definitely gonna be a bit more spacious here for um, uh, all of that. Uh, 2.1 meters and 13.5 meters long. I don't know if we can maybe um, put multiple of the, of the smaller locks behind each other onto this one here or if, this, or if uh, this is really just for the larger oak locks and this one is for whatever the smaller cargo is. But let's at least um, go and drive it for a little bit just to get an idea of it. There's also a warehouse down here, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Maybe some people can just um, take stuff from over here to a warehouse and then later down the line load it over to something else when they want to do the long trip to one of the um, destinations with it. Yeah, the road is pretty rough and if we come across one of those um, rocks that are poking out like this one over here, I yeah, gotta be careful about it. The suspension seems to be working pretty nice for this kind of terrain. So it has a uh, wet going for it. Let's see, is there any logging area close by? I think I'm just gonna go for this one here bit more straight up than some of the other ones and especially going up here seems to be quite a long trip. Also there is a space for more expansion with um, this road here ending in a, a turnaround loop. And they also made a connection over here from uh, south of Gepa. So that's what we are going to take a look at next but first up let's just see what um, we can do right here. I just want to see what the new load looks like. If it's going to be single logs all the time and us just um, stacking the stuff up on top, of, on top of each other or if it's going to be like for um, how it was before where it's just a whole 
single load that consists of multiple logs at once. Oh god. I thought I could maybe get it back on the wheels, but apparently not. Also one tiny difference that um, is a bit annoying with um, setting your car back on the road with uh, um, roadside services. Um, you now need to push down twice in order to get to that man when the option if you just push down once as uh, what it used to be before this update you will go to refueling instead so it doesn't seem to be set um, to refueling by default but completely in a different place into you god dang it okay this one would definitely benefit from a custom suspension upgrade and yeah, I just did the exact uh, thing there, just getting it on the um, on the refueling instead of um, getting it to tow to the next road. But yeah, if we um, follow that road further, we go to the dead end and have to turn back around. But for this one we can just go up in to the hills a bit further and and hopefully get to one of the spots for loading up. Should be almost there. But yeah, the new uh, scenery here, I should have really taken more care about the car, but it seems to be very spontaneous with it um, turning around. It's. well. The new scenery is quite breathtaking, the new car is a bit iffy from. What I've done here so far, but that might also be partially on my end with my driving style. I would definitely kit this out with uh, wider wheels and maybe a different suspension setup here. Trying to make it a little bit less bouncy. But let's at least see what the new looks like once you looks look like once you put them onto the vehicle. Okay, and it's just gonna be a whole um, load right here. Doesn't seem to even fit. Uh, okay. So I should have likely gone to another place. It's. Um, or can this one only load the logging things? That would be quite unfortunate. Because I'm not gonna drive up there. So maybe these are actually the longer ones. I. Again, I haven't really tested this out. Kind of hard to say with um, how things work out right here. Let's see. Um, it says logs. It doesn't say which kind of uh, logs, so I have no real idea uh, what to do here. I guess I should have gone to the other place and this might be for the larger trailer and um, that stuff. I was really hoping this would fit onto the truck, but well. I guess you need to take uh, this one to the other places. Anyways, enough about this place here. Let's go over to the next one, which is the new sawmill. And for that, I think I want to take an off-road ready car. And since uh, the road is down there, I'm just gonna take a little shortcut here. So this is the new road, just um, connects to where you would drive off uh, to Kappa. From the southern entry point. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed this one off in uh, the off-roading video um, from a few weeks ago. So this is kind of cool seeing how this is um, being used now. I knew it was going to be used for something, but I of course didn't have any idea if it would be a paved road, a dirt road, a mix of between both as it is right now, and also how it would end. Again, I think there will be a few more connections in the near future, but right now, well, this is what we have here. God dang it. And again, the different um, rocks in the middle of the road are a bit tough to deal with. So gotta be careful with um, how you approach these now. They are a bit more treacherous than you would expect. I don't know if that's gonna be a fun thing in the future or if it's just gonna get real tiring real quick. Anyways, we should be coming up to the new um, sawmill in a moment or logging mill, whatever. This is it over here to the left. Okay, I didn't expect that from the rock. I didn't see it at all. Really gonna take care, uh, take more care about um, what the road surface looks like here. Anyways, this is the new place. With a lot of uh, yeah, ready cut lumber, and this is the. Um, Point where we can hand in the stuff and this is also where we can see how the entire thing is gonna work okay so this is already telling me that the o clocks are apparently shorter so that's good to know and it's gonna result in a fewer locks there so or in fewer planks so we only get um, two planks out of uh, one um, o clock uh, 12 feet thing instead of um, one bunch of uh, 20 foot logs which I just tried to load onto the um, new truck a moment ago. So this is how that's all gonna pay out and of course you can now much more easily um, get this stuff from this lumber mill over here to the drilling uh, place instead of going all the way from the old one over here. Of course it's also gonna be a bit of a pay difference in return. But yeah, that's basically all the stuff that I found that is uh, to everything right here. Uh, anything else that I wanted to show off in this region? I don't think so. From what I've seen, there's also been a payout uh, uh, rebalancing. First up, um, toll trucking used to pay way too much in the past updates, so that's been readjusted. I mean, it was insanely profitable. I made a lot of my money using uh, that uh, shortly before the update just to make a bit more money for this one here and to have a bit of money spare. But yeah, that has been readjusted and also from what I've seen and that's a huge uh, change. Um, deliveries are now... Um, the payout is gonna be uh, calculated according to the length of your route and also the speed limit of that road and potentially also the incline so we're gonna have to see in the long run how that's gonna pay out for different jobs here but it's not gonna make uh, some stuff just a lot more profitable by default and others are completely useless it should be more um, feeling like you get the proper reward for the time you put in so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that I hope it applies across the board, especially for stuff like taxi jobs. I think especially um, taxi jobs from San Ho to somewhere around uh, Jeju Island were almost impossible to do on time, just because um, you have such a long detour compared to the straight line uh, distance. So I hope that is a bit better now, but we'll have to see about all of that. 
The last thing I want to show you guys is the new harbor. This is uh, Darsa Harbor and this is also where we can finally see our uh, campy. So this place, obviously at the north end of the new um, road going further up from uh, Sanho. And this is going to allow us to do a lot quicker um, container deliveries to the refinery if we want to keep that um, filled up and like there's a lot of other different stuff here. I think, cont I think uh, containers are the um, one um, single cargo type right now that's um, gonna be going out from here. I think it's gonna take in lumber and maybe logs and uh, that kind of stuff like the other harbor does. But for containers this is now gonna be another option for you to experience if you want to go to a different place from here. So stuff that's now in Lido Island is gonna be a lot more profitable. And yeah, as per usual, 20 foot uh, containers, 40 foot containers, whatever you want is uh, what you can get from here. But I think for the most part, I personally would use it to just do a few quick deliveries to the refinery if I just want to keep that stocked. Anyways, I think overall, well, there are a lot of things that I missed out on right now. There's a whole multiple pages long uh, change log for the entire update. Just the things that I've seen here right now, uh, they will just uh, spruce up the gameplay a bit more. Just having a few more reasons to come down into this region is pretty nice. The new, um, the new uh, factory for plastics is also going to be integrated into other um, things around the map as well. So that's a new a whole new supply chain thing that we can do now and of course the new trucks and I mean the new truck and the new trailer I'll um, check out how they really work out I'll buy my own trailer see how it uh, works and get my own truck to really upgrade it and see how well it can uh, work for um, doing the logging stuff but that's gonna have to wait for another time it's gonna it's gonna maybe um, take a while. As I said, I have some family stuff uh, going on and it's really not of the happy kind, quite sadly, and yeah, I'll have to see how it's gonna go. I'll likely be leaving uh, my place for a while and just going over to my family uh, yeah, to, the, to just stay there and um, yeah, see how that uh, all goes. I might still be here for a few days, so I might still play the game a bit, maybe do another video or two, but for the most part I have a bit of a backlog right now with um, three other videos that were recorded pre-update, so um, those are things that I might have to schedule if I leave early, but I'll see how that's all gonna go out. It's a whole situation and definitely the family stuff uh, right now has priority, but we'll see how that's gonna go. Uh, one thing that I can tell you guys is that even once I come back, I might not go straight back into video making. It's just gonna um, potentially take a while. If I need a time out from the family stuff, I will take it. It's um, it's a rough situation and something that's uh, definitely gonna um, that's gonna stick with me for a while from what I can see. So, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you have fun with the update, I'm really looking forward to getting uh, deeper into the stuff, so thanks for watching, have a good one and see you guys next time, bye bye.